All right, guys, welcome back. Hope everybody had a good weekend. And in this video, we're gonna learn about keyframes. Now, keyframes are great for when you wanna add one or more effect to the same clip. See here, I only have one clip and check out what I did. So I zoomed in throughout this clip. It's gonna zoom in. It's gonna go to this super like predator kind of looking view. I increased the saturation. I lowered the contrast and then I came back to the normal view right now. Let me shut up. I'll play it out. This is what I'm talking about. Zooms in. Is that Predator or is that Bunksy? I can't tell. Infrared. And now it's going to zoom out and it's going to go back to normal. So we did that using keyframes. So let's go ahead and get into it. So I'm going to reset all of my values. Give it a second. And keyframes are kind of tricky in GoPro Studio. The layout is way better than Adobe Premiere. The layout is way better in Adobe Premiere and After Effects. But we got to work with what we got. So let's go ahead and reset all my stuff. Let's just play it and see what it looks like now without my effects. What's up, Bunksy? Hi, how you doing? Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Keyframes, okay, so we can add keyframes to white balance. We're not gonna do it in this video. Image, 3D convergence, and framing. Framing we are gonna use, we're gonna zoom in. We cannot use keyframes to speed up or slow down video or move the audio up and down. See right here under image, you've got your option for keyframes. Audio you do not, video you do not. So let's go ahead and play around with it. So to start it out, let's have our playhead right here. Now I'm gonna start a keyframe. Anytime you want it to start the way it is, start a keyframe. So I'm gonna click, what do I wanna do? I wanna zoom in first. So I'm gonna click add new keyframe here. Click just like that. Now I'm gonna play it to the point where you wanna do something with it. So how about there, I will add another keyframe and I'm gonna zoom in. The eye of the Bunksy cat, just like that. So I'm gonna play it. This is how long I want it zoomed in. Pause it, click another keyframe, just like that. Now I'm gonna zoom back out to normal. I guess that's normal, it's extreme close up. Extreme Bunksy. So that's it, so let's play it from the top. It's gonna to go ahead and zoom in right about Eye of the Bunksy, there it is. And then it zooms out, but I wanna add more effects to it. I'm gonna go ahead and start it from the top. I'm gonna to go up to image and I want it to start this way. I don't wanna add an effect instantly, so I'm gonna click keyframe right now. I'm gonna play it out. Tell about there. Now we're gonna go full on Predator Infrared Arnold Schwarzenegger mode with Bunksy Cat. Did I add a keyframe? Bunksy Cat for life. Let's turn the contrast down. There it is. Sniper in the tower. Predator in the tower. Let's play it out. How freaky is that? Arnold Schwarzenegger and Apollo would be proud. Now I'm gonna add a keyframe and I'm gonna bring it back down to the way it was. And let's turn the contrast up just like that. And we'll finish strong. So let's play it again. So I think I added four keyframes to each attribute, four to image and four to framing. And check that out one more time. Back to normal. So play around with it, play around with the keyframes. You can scroll left, right, previous keyframe, forward, previous keyframe. It's kind of hard to keep up with in, in GoPro Studio. It's a lot easier in Adobe Premiere, but it's GoPro Studio is a free program. How can you complain? Play around with your keyframes. Good luck with this. I'll see you guys in the next video.